right? I've known YS for what more than ten years, mm. and how we crossed paths was all the world. Okay, yes. so yeah. once upon so my my start in this industry. Uh, I was writing for autoworld.com. And that was my start too, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> he was there. So, uh, so we worked together for 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 a good number of years before I I moved on to explore other opportunities. But I've always regarded you as a, as a good friend. You've always given me good advice over the years. Mm-hmm. So the thing is that you were in, but you were in this scene, the media scene. Before long before I I, I I joined, that would be about two o three I think two o three. What was it like at that time? I came out and did things on my yeah, own, yeah, yeah. and I supplemented my income uh-huh. uh, by writing. Yeah, and but one of the reasons why I became a writer was is because we sometimes get to test nice cars. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. And sometimes you get to go overseas yeah. and see the world. Yeah. Uh, of course, looking back, uh, now you and I know yeah. that those overseas trips are real work trips. Right? Yeah, man. You get maybe one hour on your own yeah, to look yeah, around yeah. the little yeah, village yeah, yeah, that you're yeah. in. No, now, now, right? I get a one hour on my own, right? It's to it's it's to tackle my wife's shopping list. <laughs> And and I see nowadays some of them uh, working very very hard. Yes. The one hour on their own, they are in the hotel room working on the computer. Yes. Because yes. they have to come out with three articles a yeah. day or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And you know, some uh, just uh, a week ago there was this person. Mm-hmm. Uh, I won't mention names. Mm. At lunchtime he took out his laptop. You know, tea time he took out his laptop. Mm. Sitting in the car with me he took out his laptop. Mm. Took the laptop and threw it to the back. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, life it shouldn't be like that, lah. Yeah. There must be a balance, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, those you, you started off, and and you you started with O three, yeah. and this and then that last, was as a writer. As a writer, uh, so you write, you submit, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you, and you were writing for, and by by as of last year, you were you were writing for sixteen years. Yes. So so right, you 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 were writing for. Near one and a half, two decades. Yeah. Okay. And last year you started YS Kong driving. Yes. So what gave you the uh, inspiration to do this? Well, one of the key people who inspired me would be actually Bobby. Bobby, yeah, yeah. I saw him. He said, "Hey, nobody reads like nowadays." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, well, those words uh, jogged me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, jostle me a yeah, bit then yeah, I yeah. I thought about it yeah he's right man yeah you know I watched his video yeah. when he said why he's yeah. doing this yeah I think he did one video like yeah, that yeah 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 and then uh, I said yeah maybe that's something to that's something we can do and yeah, then yeah. Uh, I managed to get a good partner to mm-hmm. do this with yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, does your partner prefer to to remain silent on his or her identity? Uh, she remains very silent. Yeah, but she's the, camera shy. <laughs> but for the record, his partner is someone whom I know, <laughs> and who who is someone that I've worked together with before, uh, and have a h- tremendous amount of respect for. Yes. Yeah. But for for reasons of privacy, we shall not disclose her yeah. identity. So yeah. well, she is she's married to my friend. Ah, okay. And uh, we are good friends, and yeah. then. She was the one who said, "Let's do it." Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, I, well, it kind of happened like that. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, when I first started, I was a bit nervous. Yeah. You always make mistakes. I remember one video I did on the car launch, uh. and at the end of the video, of course, <coughs> you know we have the comments column, yeah, right? Yeah. Somebody say, "Hey, what's the price?" <laughs> <laughs> but you see, right? That's the thing I always tell people. Your first video, ah, uh, is always shit one. <laughs> but if you want to do it, you just do it. Yeah, just do it. So the quick, the other quick thing I want to ask you is this: When you test drive a car, right? Mm. Whether is it writing, whether is it doing it on video, the stuff that you evaluate is still the same. I mean, you 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 still evaluate your the mental faculties that you exercise in your brain mm. when you evaluate your car is still the same. It's the same as what between writing and 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 video. Yeah, it's the, the same. what's changed is the delivery. Yes. All right. Yes. So I mean, but you have been writing for for. Longer than I have been in this industry. Yeah. So, how difficult has the transition been for you in, you know, in, to 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 go from writing to to video? Okay, I think the big challenge in video uh-huh. is uh, your content, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, you are talking to an audience uh, mm-hmm. that you can't see. Yeah. So, 
I imagine I'm talking just as now I'm, I'm talking to a whole lot of people yeah. who are going to watch this video. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually wondering how you're going to deliver this video. We've been talking so long. Will there be anybody actually watch this God. video? God. 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 Okay. So, mm. I have to know what you want to hear. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But after a while, you just become yourself lah. Correct. You know? Correct. Correct. So you just say what you need to say. Yeah. But to me it's like sharing my experience. Yeah. And what's important in sharing my experience is people must understand what I'm saying. Yeah. So I try to use terms that people can understand. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I lapse into like okay like wheel base. Yeah, that's the center to center distance between the front and rear wheel. Correct. You sort of like uh, try to educate. Mm -hmm. Some people already know but there will always be new people you yeah. know, who are watching your video mm -hmm. so you need you cannot end up being so technical until they say what is this guy talking I can't understand it's, him it's half the time we need know? to we, sometimes we do need to tone down our our technical stuff what I like to see is share my knowledge mm -hmm. so right. the people who watch my videos yeah. they appreciate that I teach mm. But I'm not saying, hey, consider I'm gonna teach you all of the cornering lines. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. talk about it, yeah. and and after a while they they get comfortable and yeah. they, they begin to grasp, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. But I get people who make comments, hey, you're holding the steering wheel wrong. Then he sends me a video clip of somebody in running on Nurburgring in a race car. Uh, okay, then I gently have to say that, hey, guys. There are two methods of holding the steering yeah, wheel. Correct, correct. And I'm familiar with the push pull. Yeah. I yep. can do the hand over hand. Yeah. But I've seen people do hand over hand doing it wrong. Yeah. Okay. Correct. So, correct. Uh, so we get a lot of uh, comments like that. Yeah. And then people say, "Hey, you are using two lanes." I say, yeah, "It's one way." Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's the reason why I use the Genting Road because yeah. it has all the features yeah. that I want to use to test the car yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's safe. I don't get oncoming traffic. I, and well, if you watch my Yaris yeah, video, yeah. there was one truck that came into my lane. I was yeah, a sim yeah, in the Yaris yeah, and then yeah. I had to do uh, a quick avoid. Yeah. So I try to avoid roads where there's a chance of a another car yeah. encroaching into my lane. Correct, correct, yeah? correct. And so when it's a one way and there are two lanes, of course we also try to take a line mm. But of course if it's two way traffic, you cannot cross to the other side unless you can see. Yes. So yes. there's no hard and fast rule, but basically you got to use your brains when you're driving Yeah. Okay. You just keep your wits about yourself. Yeah. The, the, the whole thing is I I now use this my key phrase is to be in control. Correct. If you can't drive at all, mm. like yesterday, there's a video of this guy who crashed a. SUV, yeah, because he doesn't know how to drive, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. at forty kilometers per hour, he managed to roll. <laughs> Is it the the one? The red fake SUV. One, uh? Yes. How did that happen? Uh? He took a corner uh -huh. too fast. Uh -huh. That was about forty kilometers per hour. Then he hit another car that was parked there, and that launched the. Oh the car. my god! And he rolled. I I I, I was I seen the pictures. I, I how can this how happen, right? Happen? I mean, accidents happen too. So that's a that's a case of dangerous driving at forty kilometers per hour. Correct. Correct. And if you go at forty kilometers per hour on a highway, mm -hmm. you are inviting trouble. Yeah. You go at hundred kilometers per hour in a housing estate, you're also actually <laughs> that's that's the thing I trouble. wanted to 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 point out. Outright speeding per se is not the cause. The cause. The cause is inappropriate speed. And also no control. Yes, yes. I mean, I mean, you. The thing is that, right? You, you are on. There are some highway stretches. We know they are safe for speeds up to one forty, one fifty, mm. provided the roads are clear. Yes. Okay. But you know, people are driving slow on those speeds. But yes. conversely, you know, there are people who speed through housing areas, mm. speed through uh, school zones. Yep. Right. It's it's. It's like, like the one who went to the T junction in Glam, uh, Glamoury area at mm. 200 kilometers per hour. I think that that guy had had a seizure or something. Yeah, like whatever. That. But he was going quite fast. Yeah, I saw yeah, the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. So, but whatever it is, uh, you your threshold of control. There are some who say, "Oh, you're driving so dangerous." Yeah, but what's your threshold of control? Correct. 
correct. You know, I always correct. tell people, you want to drive a hundred, you should be able to handle the car at two hundred. Exactly. If yeah. hundred is all you can handle, you're actually driving dangerously because yeah. you're at the at your limit. Yeah, the limit. Yeah. That's why. That's why. Um, what like for Genting runs, I've been doing Genting runs also, but not not as of not as frequent as you. I'm very open in telling my viewers. If you want to watch a fast Genting run, go watch YS Kong. Because <laughs> no, actually, I'm going very slow. Because I, I know, <laughs> I, I, for me, when I do my Genting runs, um, I like to think that I'm faster than the average driver. Oh yes, you are. Definitely. But it's def, it's way slower than, than, than the limits of of my abilities. Because I think at the end of the day, on a public road, you need to leave that reserve. Yeah, you must yeah. always have reserve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And even in race or rally, mm -hmm. you must always have reserve yep. because that's when you can be in control. You cannot overdrive the car. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Uh, even your steering angle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So a lot of people have tires screeching basically because they just turn too much. Yeah. Yeah. You know? What What you really want to What you really want in a race, right, is to be as smooth. As, as possible, possible because that's when you're losing the least amount of speed. Yeah. Okay, so the question, the, the the biggest question that I have for you today is this. Yes, what? What's motivating you? I mean, right now to put some context, <laughs> right? You like what you said earlier. Your kids are grown up. Mm. Okay, you are you are you are, you are you know you have worked so hard for the last three decades, four decades. Yeah. All right. Most people your age. Um, you have a you have a lovely wife waiting for you at home every day. Do I? <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I love you, mom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, what is motivating you to, to work on. twice as hard as people half your age? Okay. Uh, this YouTube thing is yeah. becoming like a full time job. <laughs> and you see, the thing is this: you know, you took the effort. Uh, to reinvent yourself uh, from a skill set that you are already, you know, very mature at writing, yeah, writing. right? Reviewing car, that one is what one. But you have, you have, you have what one and a half, two decades of writing experience. But yeah. you have you totally reinvent yourself yeah. and go into video production, uh, okay? And acquiring an entirely new uh, skill set, mm. you know. Knowing full well that you don't really have to, and you are at a stage where you have nothing to prove. Your yeah. record speaks for yourself. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm impressed at, at, at what's, what's, what's driving you. So this was Is the reason you're interviewing me. Yes. Today. Yes. Okay. I, I'll try to answer that as candidly as I can. Please. Okay. For me, uh, uh -huh. it is like. Uh, like Hannibal Smith, uh -huh. I love it when a plan comes together. Right. Okay. Right, so right, it's right. like, you know, why do you do it? Because it's there. Yes. So I wanted to know how I can do lah. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. It could have failed. By now, yes. uh, you wouldn't be looking at YS Kong. Uh, I, uh, there's an old man who just did something and he screwed up totally, and yeah. now he's a nobody. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I like I said I I listened to what was happening and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I realized that people now are more visual yeah. Uh, yeah. than yeah. than reading yeah. and uh, so I decided to give it a try yeah. Yeah. and I'm not afraid of failure mm -hmm. so even the business that I was doing yeah mm -hmm. is not the first time. Uh, my first time in business. Yeah, yeah. So those of you who are starting out on something, uh, mm -hmm. you may not succeed the first time. All right. But don't let that stop you, lah. Mm. You know. Yeah, yeah. And yep. Uh, you have to find your right niche. Mm -hmm. uh, look at yourself. What do you have? You know. What can you leverage on? Mm -hmm. So what do I have? I have a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love cars. Yeah. I think I can drive. Uh, I got five championships to prove it. I think it. I think you're all right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, on the racetrack, mm -hmm. I also won many races. Yeah, yeah. So, so I both on race and rally. Mm. So I think I don't have to say it all, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but in the early days when I drove, somebody said you're not as fast as Bobby Ang. So I showed the thing to Bobby. <laughs> 
But anyway, <laughs> Bobby had to come to my rescue. Hey guys, what is going on? Oh no no no! Thanks, no. Bobby. Yeah. No, we Bobby and I, we don't take credit that don't belong to us. Ah, that one we don't. Yeah, of course yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. I I showed Bobby and, yeah, yeah. and Bobby came onto my uh, yeah. oh, yeah, channel of course, and of he he helped to clear the air. Some records must be set straight. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, I thought that. These are things that I can share. Yeah. Uh, I have always been uh, somebody who wanted to improve the standard of driving. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I talk too much, you know. But uh -huh. uh, I try to teach people how to drive, and yeah. I share my knowledge. Yes. If you, yes. if more people subscribe to what I think, then I think you can get a nation of better drivers. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. And I always say, ah. Uh, Speed doesn't kill, poor driving does. Yes. Okay? Yes, yes. So, uh, very basic things, lah, yep. you know, yep. uh, that you can learn about driving, mm -hmm. and I want to share. Yep. And my Sifu mm -hmm. has told me, mm -hmm. I won't tell you who he is, mm -hmm. lah, uh, that YS, you must share your knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and that's good for you. Yep. Yep. It's good for your karma. Yep. So when yep. I leave this world, yep. at least people will look fondly upon me yep. and say, yes, this is a man who shared what he knew mm -hmm. and he has contributed to the well-being of people yep. generally. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, and uh, why I do it, why do I have the energy is because I believe, uh, I remember a long time ago, my son asked me, yeah. Dad, what shall I do when I grow up? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, he's still alive, my son. Uh -huh. And I said, son, you can be anything you want, uh -huh. as long as you are the best in what you are doing. Son, you can be a drain sweeper. Yeah. But if you can be proud that your drains are the best swept drains in the world, then you can be very happy and proud yeah. of yourself. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what you do, mm -hmm. do it well. Agreed. And my Agreed. son Ian Kong, if Words you are listening to, to this, yeah. this is what I told you, and I, I know you remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, guys, um, I just want to say something for the record. Um, I've been in this industry for ten years. You have? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm an old fart. I'm an official. I'm officially an old fart. And YS, um, for the record, I want to say this: YS was one of those people who were right there with me from the start. Uh, he has given me tremendous support over the years. He has given me tremendous knowledge, uh, tremendous guidance. Okay, and most of most importantly, he has been a, a great friend to me. Um, honestly, I think my life in this industry has been all the more richer because you were a part of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you. Yeah, and I just you know on public, I want to say thank you so much. For all the help that you have given me over the years, all the guidance that you've given me over the years. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, and thank you so much for doing for 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 doing this. This is something that um, your story is something that I want to tell the world. Mm. And uh, basically, the the message for everybody for you guys is this: it's never too late to to start on anything that you believe in. It's never too late to learn something new and yes and to be and to be good and like what you said before like what you said if anything is worth doing you do it well you do it well you do yes. it well yeah so this is a man who has given me tremendous knowledge tremendous wisdom over the years um yeah and i really count you as one of the biggest benefactors you know, uh, in my in my in my working life. All right, thank okay. you, Conde. This is a very nice words yeah, to yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Ice. Thank you so much.